Marco. Rocky. Okay, muchachos, les di las instrucciones allá abajo. Hay que ir instructions downstairs. Both your trunks are a little high. Los calzones están un poquito alto. Aquí está bien. Dense la mano y buena suerte a los dos. Barrera is a three and a half to one favorite. But among many boxing experts, there is almost a premonition that Rocky Juarez is a much better fighter than that reflects. And I am one of those, Rocky. Larry. Box. Box. If there's a weakness in Juarez's scenario here, it is that he does not have a history of fighting at a fast pace. Fighting at a slow pace, trying to set up power punches, may be difficult against Barrera, who is so skilled as a counterpuncher and has so much game after 16 and a half years in the business. Barrera starts out with his jab. Rocky Juarez fires a wide left hook. I'm going to watch very closely this fight so I don't make a mistake on what happens when who gets knocked down with what hand this time. <laughs> happened before Emmanuel maybe it was just too quick Barrera starts off backing Juarez up with the jab now Rocky determines to come forward one question in the mind of everybody yesterday who wins the jabbing contest early so far it's Barrera and he sets up two uppercuts and a right hand across the top so already sees uh, Barrera shows Juarez the multiplicity of his punch but delivering the, skills but both of these guys are punching very, very short accurate punches and very powerful punches Barrera's ability to be first with the jab, even against longer-armed opponents in the past, has been a key. Already there's the beginning of a welt, I believe, under Juarez's right eye from those uh, stiff jabs. But for the most part, Juarez is doing a very good job of getting away from a lot of the punches of Barrera, and Barrera's punching and looking very, very sharp tonight. And Juarez scored over the top with a hard right hand, now gets his jab past Barrera's. Juarez has had a couple moments here in round one, particularly that right hand over the top. Herrera looking exceptionally calm as always. Rocky presents probably one of the biggest punches that I recall seeing Barrera fight, and he punches very short, active punches. The punches are not long. Which is why Herrera said to us, yeah. fighting a puncher, my jab becomes more important. Yeah, and he's boxing beautiful and punching very short, active punches himself. This is the stalking, persistent style of Juarez. It is not the relentless style he may need. Good jab by Juarez. Stuck it right into the mouth of Barrera. And now Barrera steps inside and rips Juarez with a left hook. Juarez with a right over the top. And, but, you know, Barrera rolls his shoulder very good where it looks like he's getting hit with punches, but he rolls very good. Oh, and a perfect jab with a solid uppercut by Barrera. That might be enough to salt away the round. If you were looking for something to score in the last 30 seconds, Barrera provided the flurry as the corners. And particularly in Barrera's corner, where his trainer, Rudy Perez, speaks Spanish, our interpreter is the veteran Ray Torres. You got, you got to get his hands to get tired. Come on, loosen up. All right, you saw the cut over Rocky Juarez's right eye. He's got a brilliant cut man in Joe Souza. Emmanuel Stewart, how dangerous is that cut? I don't think it's dangerous right now at this stage right now, and particularly on that side of the face where most of the blows are not landing. Most of the jabs is coming from the Ruiz going to be landing at Juarez's left eye. Comedy box numbers in round one. 
Barrera, 19 out of 71. Juarez, 7 out of 38. And as Larry alluded to, as I mentioned earlier, 38 punches around isn't enough for Juarez to put pressure on Barrera continuously. He's got to consider letting his hands go more than that. Two good body punches by Juarez. Then he came back upstairs with the jab. Barrera is very consistent with his jab. He doesn't shoot it for a power punch all the time. Sometimes he uses it just as a probe, just to keep you busy. And then it, see how you react to the jab, and then he'll know how to shoot his power punch. We talked in the past about how deceptively long armed Shane Mosley is. Barrera's the same way. You look at that yeah. body, you don't expect the jab to come out as far as it does. No, you don't. But that's the one thing that people overlook. He continually jabs nearly all of his fights. Stop! Break! That's a free jump. Punch. Juarez trying to get in some body work. Hands are free. Body as they are at close head, quarters. Barrera in the past has been brilliant at close quarters, particularly in his three fights against Derek Morales. And there you see what? As he bangs Juarez with a couple of body shots, rips an uppercut, and moves the American fighter back. Now Juarez pulls Barrera back onto the ropes, looking to put Barrera in jail, and Barrera turns him around and rips him with the right hand. Rocky, not behind the back of the Rocky's head. holding on pretty good. He's, he's holding his own in these exchanges right here. As a matter of fact, he might have a slight edge in some of those exchanges because he's, he's a much more compact puncher. So Barrera moves back to distance and goes back to firing his jab. Very wise. He's keeping getting that zone again where he can punch, it, punch it and get in and out. Straight right hand landed for Barrera. First time he's pierced the guard of Juarez with a straight right. Right hand over the top, glancing blow, but Juarez got it onto the chin of Barrera. And there's a good left hook by Juarez. Yeah. Barrera's left hook was partially blocked. Juarez is a very good puncher, particularly with short left hooks. Lead left hook for Barrera lands. Juarez short with the right. Barrera jabbing twice to create distance. Now there's blood coming from the nose of Marco Antonio Barrera. No doubt the product of that brilliant inside left hook thrown by Juarez. Boxing After Dark returns next Saturday night with Bantamweights Johnny Gonzalez and Fernando Montiel in a welterweight matchup between Walter Matisse and Paul Williams. Immediately following Boxing After Dark, stay tuned for Countdown to Tarver Hopkins, a documentary-style look into each fighter's camp as they prepare for their light heavyweight showdown June 10 on HBO Pay-Per-View. And as you saw, between fights, both Tarver and Hopkins are in high promotional gear. <laughs> So the champ catches one right on the nose and blood spurts forth. It, if you're in Juarez, it's one of the biggest concern you have to have is the hope that he doesn't get tired emotionally and mentally as the fight goes on because he's so charged up at this stage and Barrera is so relaxed still. And Barrera realizes now that fighting in close is dangerous with Juarez, so now he's trying to start boxing more. Copy box numbers for round two. Barrera slowed to 11 out of 56 after 19 of 71 in round one. Juarez stepped it up, 12 out of 48. That big left hook that brought the blood from Barrera's nose might have won the round for Rocky. Obviously, we'll be bringing Harold Letterman's scorecard a little bit later on. Rocky Juarez becoming much more assertive now with his jab and backing Barrera up with the left hook. Barrera effectively sidesteps Juarez's right. And just okay. as Emmanuel Stewart predicted, Barrera choosing to create more space in round two and stick with the boxing. Juarez is, is applying a lot of pressure and his punches are so accurate that Barrera isn't used to that. Most of the guys he's fought at, the punches have been much wider and he can see them better. 
But this guy's punching more accurate, and he's catching punches very good. And so now, Barrera seems to feel an urgency to beat Juarez to the punch. Rocky missing with a big left hook. The hope of flooring Barrera with that punch. Barrera picking Juarez's shots off with his gloves here. Yeah, but Barrera realizes now, I think, that he's he got a very serious fight on his hand. Because he has not been able to effectively sustain any really combinations together on Rocky at this stage. He lands one or two, but if he cannot put three and four punches together, which is what he does very well. One thing he's managed to do is to get blood to flow from Juarez's nose. So now both fighters have the trickle of blood from their nose. The result of good, hard inside punching. There's a terrific body shot with the left hand by Barrera. Tries to bring a right hand over the top. Let him, let him uh, fake was off. actually on the belt line, and that's why the referee didn't call it a low blow. And there's an uppercut by Barrera as well. Now Juarez comes back with a jab and a right hand to the body. Barrera showing a lot of respect for Rocky Juarez here in round three. Yes. And that's a very smart thing because Juarez can punch. Right now, Barrera's getting away from most of the right hands from Rocky by rolling his shoulder. But as the fight goes on, he might misjudge and get caught. Let's go. Juarez is staying disciplined, not leaving himself open, not opening up either. Now Barrera trying to steal the round, and he gets ripped by a left hook. Barrera off balance as he goes into the road, yeah. fights back to end the round, but Rocky Juarez, with the biggest shot of the fight, almost knocks Barrera down. This fight is turning out to be exactly Don't what I expected. Look, you're keeping your hands too low. Keep your hands up. Yeah, yeah, just box them. You, you're doing the opposite. You gotta just box them. Don't do anything else but box them. The combinations. Give me some water. You understand? You got me? That's good. That's good. Hey, we, we, we work too hard for this darn thing. Let me get away. You understand? Here is Juarez's left hook. The punch that says. I think I'll try on your crown for a moment here. And you may see more of those punches coming. You heard Rudy Perez in Barrera's corner saying, box for heaven's sake. Tommy Box numbers in three. Juarez 10 out of 54, including the big left hook. Barrera 8 out of 59. Harold, how do you have it through three? Okay, Jim. 29, 28, two rounds to one. Marco Antonio Barrera. Jim, I thought he won the first two rounds with that left jab. Circling nicely, boxing nicely. Rocky Juarez has just got to jump on him, force him back, and land some good shots. In round three, Rocky Juarez did just that. He got aggressive, didn't let Barrera get off, jumped on him, hurt him, won the third round, 2-1 Barrera. Barrera has Bar just turned yeah. the fight back around yeah, Barrera with a series the great... of vicious body shots. Just what I was going to say. Being the fighter that he is, he realizes now that he's maybe in jeopardy of losing or uh, the momentum of the fight turning towards Rocky. So now he's stepping it up. The body shots were sizzling. They put Barrera back in charge momentarily. Major swelling around the left eye of Marco Antonio Barrera. The kind of swelling that could lead to trouble later on in the fight. And he's in there facing, to me, the most dangerous puncher that I've ever saw him face it's been a long time since he fought junior jones even bigger than pacquiao I, I think so because pacquiao you can see his punches goes pacquiao basic winds up and shoots a hard you know one two with a straight right and a hard left and you see it coming but this guy rocky is very deceiving he gets very close and changes very short punches there's tremendous energy in the crowd for both fighters we're hearing dueling chants Rocky, Rocky, Rocky. Marco, Marco, Marco. You have a Mexican crowd and two Mexican fighters. Break. Respira. Take a deep breath. Pump it. Deep breath. Let's go. Well, one Mexican and one Mexican American. Yeah. But most of these Mexican fighters have spent so much time in recent years training and living here. And Barrera, up until now, for the most part, did all of his training mainly in California. Well, and Barrera used to be Los Angeles' trademark fighter when he was promoted by uh, the Great Western Forum and fighting his fights there. That's where he fought Kennedy McKinney in the first box boxing after dark, Feb 3, 1996. Another sizzling right hand over the top by Barrera, who has 
taking it upon himself to try to reassume command of the fight here in round four. Now, Juarez has not done enough following up what happened at the end of the last round so far. Herrera gets away with a body shot that was below the belt, and referee Raul Calle Sr. says, hey, that one was too low, Marco. So one warning for Barrera. He's been flirting with that warning, and perhaps purposely so. They trade jabs, and they both land, crushingly. These guys are throwing more power punches for little guys than Rockman and Tony was throwing probably in their entire fight. So what are you saying? <laughs> These guys are punching the other guys was more like trying to go for a decision. The hitter was going for a decision. These guys are going for a knockout. That uh -huh. was an excellent round for Marco Antonio Barrera, who showed you what a champion does when he's challenged. All right, give me, give me that thing. I need something to clean him up. Very strong. Now nah, everything is fine. You're back to normal. The, the legs, that's what you need. Move. Just jab and move. Jab in the right hand. We work on that shot. We can work it inside. You understand? It's a short right hand body shot. You will not take that body shot. If you think you take a body shot, he won't take it. He didn't take this shot up here either. Okay? You're like, you're doing real good, son. You're doing real good. I want you to be active all the time. Jack, Jack. You do it? You're doing good. You're looking real good. Well, they told us that Rocky had trained to fight at a harder, faster pace. He's fighting in his style and doing well, but he has not yet turned it up. Copy box numbers in the fourth round. Barrera 12 out of 57. Juarez 6 out of 48. 6 out of 48. Those are the numbers that won't do it for Juarez. The belief is that he must put more pressure on Barrera. However, he's landed big shots from time to time and certainly almost knocked Barrera down at the end of the third. Marco continuing to fight aggressively now to try to keep Juarez away. But what Barrera does good is when he puts combinations together, they just flow so smoothly, and he has not been able to do that in this fight. He's not been able to put combinations. He lands one or two shots. So far, the most effective thing has been his jab. All right, stop. Break. It's hard to stand in and land a four-punch combination when you're worried about what's coming back. That's correct, especially with a guy with a good tight defense like Rocky has. Pressure, pressure, pressure. As Rocky Juarez stalks the champion Marco Antonio Barrera from corner to corner. Analivas has a free. Upstairs by Juarez, right behind Barrera. All right, stop. Break. Deep breath. Rocky Juarez is pretty quick with his left hook. Barrera trying to back him off with the right hand to the body. Left and right upstairs. Juarez lands the jab. Barrera goes straight in anyway. This, this is what Barrera does that you talked so much about before, Emmanuel. Yeah, he's, he's boxing, he's boxing, and suddenly he comes in, throws three or four punches, backs you up. Now back to boxing. Well, he sees the guys pushing him around while he's, while he's boxing and dominating, so he changed up and then he starts going to the forward. Barrera getting going with the left hand, lands a left hook, and then follows with three or four jabs right in a row. Mufo Juarez can find it. Rocky comes forward with one left hook. Barrera's best punch so far still in the fight has been the jab. That's a free. Mano Libre. Mano Libre. That's a free, gentlemen. Yes, Barrera has to watch out when they separate here that Juarez doesn't snap him with a left hook. And Barrera obviates that by firing his own punches and landing a right hand. Oh, 
Okay, right. Saturday, June 3, tune into the premiere of Countdown to Taylor Wright. An in-depth look at each fighter as they make the final preparations for their June 17 middleweight mega fight live over the air on HBO, not pay-per-view, World Championship Boxing, one of the biggest fights of the year, Taylor Wright, June 17. You can get back in the you know what you have to do? The right, use the right hand, hit him in the body, and the movement is what you need to do. You gotta move. Close your eye. Close your eye. Come on, give me the mouthpiece. There you see Barrera doing what he does best. Keeping the distance and working his jab. Fairly astonishingly, the CompuBox numbers for the fifth round are exactly the same as for the fourth. Herrera 12 out of 57, Juarez 6 out of 48. Same numbers as the last time. So we're seeing the settle into a sameness here, which doesn't mean that it's easy, only that Barrera is managing to maintain a tactical control while staving off a stiff challenge so far. Juarez lands a jab. Definitely a stiff challenge and a dangerousness too. Juarez is still punching with four fours whenever he did punches. And he landed a big left hook, to which Barrera answered with a jab and a straight right hand. Barrera's uppercuts are scoring inside. Juarez could score with uppercuts himself, but hasn't thrown them. Barrera, I'm sorry, Rocky knows that he can hurt Barrera. He doesn't appear to be putting enough pressure on to get those big punches in. Blood streaming from his left nostril. Barrera keeps firing the jab. Juarez winging a left hook but falls short with it. The right hand of the body caught skin, but Barrera is tactically in command as he circles away from Juarez and chooses his punches to keep Rocky back. It is a tenuous command at best. Juarez explosive and Barrera ducking the right hand there. Good uppercut inside by Barrera. Juarez lands two jabs as Marco backs away. Good uppercut by Juarez. Finally, he throws one. Now Barrera lands another uppercut shot and Juarez counters with a left hook up there. Yeah, ba ba Barrera has been boxing beautiful and he's better get back to that zone again. Is he getting in close? He's getting in a dangerous territory with Rocky because Rocky is still, I think, a more effective short distance puncher than he is. Herrera going inside to take his chances on trying to take some of the steam out of Juarez. And now we've got a prize fight breaking out in Los Angeles. Short right hand over top. And he's following through right now. It's going to be interesting to see if Juarez can make it through this round. Herrera almost oh, no, spat no, his no, mouthpiece, no. put it back in himself, and went back to punching. He's mixing up his combinations to the body and to the head. Marco Antonio Barrera seemed to know yesterday it would be a tough fight. Now he seems finally to be beginning to enjoy it. Yes, it's one of the best I've saw him fight in a long time. All right, stop. Break. Nice and relaxed. Deep breath. Yes, Ten seconds. It's the sheer activity of the older fighter. And Juarez backs Barrera off with a big left hook and lands another big shot before the round is over. What a fight. Okay. Rock, I want you to work that right hand. The right hand right here. I want you to work that right hand. Okay, you hear what I said? When you work the right hand, but I need to throw some punches. Sir. I need a combination in there. When you get, uh, hey, the ring is 20 by 20. You can walk all around this guy's ring. You understand? When you get hurt a little bit, get on your, your bicycle and move away from this guy. They didn't come at you, but you can hurt him. Give me this punch. Take it, take it away from me. Hit him in the body. Come on, you don't want to throw in the bottom? No, don't get into, into fight with him. Just nice and beautiful boxing. Your, your punch is nice and sharp. We are midway through this 12-round championship fight in Los Angeles. The king of the 100-pound weight class, Marco Antonio Barrera in the blue trunks. 
against the man in the Mexican flag and the American flag, Rocky Juarez of Houston, Texas. A good, tight battle with hard punching on both sides. Harold, how do you have it through six? Okay, Jim, five rounds to one. 59-55, Marco Antonio Barrera. Jim, I gotta tell you something. The defining line, the defining spot for a low blow is, is the navel, okay? Now, since you can't see the navel on Rocky Juarez, if Marco Antonio Barrera plunks him with a left hook on a waistband, it's a legal punch. Raul Caiz didn't say a thing about the four or five left hooks Barrera landed to the waistband to Juarez in round five. I think they were good shots. Five to one, Barrera. Juarez walks into a couple of jabs. Barrera eats a jab as well. Barrera seems to be getting his stride right now, and the experience is beginning to show right here now. He just knows at which moments to step up and seize command. Yeah, he's a great fighter. I mean, and it's still amazing to see him fight on this level of competition 10 years when he was fighting 10 years ago in brawls and still out here fighting like this. Juarez ripping Barrera with a hard left hook to the body. You would think the younger man would start to come on soon. Has he been holding back just, just to do that? No, I just think this is a level of competition is just so high that no one can really get a good momentum to go on steady. The, the momentum keeps changing. It's the kind of fight so far in which even if Juarez loses, his reputation will be damaged. He's going toe-to-toe -to -toe and punch for punch with one of the best in the history of the sport. Terrific left hook to the body by Barrera. Now Barrera's mouthpiece is out yeah. as he and Juarez go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. And without a mouthpiece, Barrera rips Juarez with an uppercut. Stop! Stop! Time! And referee Raul Caiz steps in to replace the mouthpiece at a moment when they're trading shots. And just he had to, well, they call it a lull in action. That was not too much of a lull in action. Right I'll there. say. If I'm Juarez, I'm thinking, hey, that was no lull. But both guys better be careful because Juarez still, even though he's losing, he's still a dangerous little puncher. So I'll say. And Barrera knows that, too. It's a lively fight. And Barrera's accustomed to that. His 36 rounds, Eric Morales, time capsule stuff. Raul Cayuns hidden behind Juarez. Barrera gets in another left-hand shot right under the navel on the belt line. The way Harold Letterman described it. Hard right hand over the top by Barrera. Barrera's fighting a very hard fight now. Moving, changing direction, boxing. That's what makes him such a great fight. He's so diversified in his skills. Changing yeah. the trajectory on his right hand and throwing a Lennox Lewis. Yes, again, everything. Uh, I was about to say that, you know, Juarez, yes, I'm on the this type of fighter, has to invest body punching in the, in the first half of the fight to wear down the boxer, but he hasn't done that. Want to see how to steal around? <laughs> Marco Antonio Barrera just showed you how to steal around. That was perfect. Okay, well. Experience. Good run, good run. Stole it fair yeah. and square. Don't stay in the ropes. Don't stay in the ropes. The ropes is not where you have to. There's no need for it. You need to move in inside the ring. You're, you're okay. Everything's right. Don't stop at one, two, three punch. I want him four combinations. Now we're going through later round. Let's get to him. Okay? Round eight. Okay. Round eight. Got it? You got it? Yeah. Okay. Well, think about it now. We're in the later round. Now it's here where the fourth come in. Move that head, move that head, angle, bump, bump, double jab. Now the pipe. Well, they're talking in Juarez's corner like he was waiting for the later rounds to step it up. Let's see if he's got enough left to do it. Seven rounds in the book, five to go. Copy box numbers in the seventh. Barrera, 18 out of 55. Juarez, seven out of 68. Rocky, two more punches. Barrera is the more accurate and sharper puncher. Punch for punch. But Juarez has landed the two biggest shots in the fight, including a left hook that almost knocked Hold Barrera on, down time. in the third round. Time out. Go back over. Come here. Mucha vaselina. Quítale la vaselina. Quítale la vaselina. Okay, ya está bien. Está bien. Okay. Time in. Let's go. Box. He rubbed some Vaseline off of Barrera's face. If you had told me 10 years ago that I would see Barrera moving and boxing like this, I would say you're crazy. 
I cannot believe the ring generalship that he's showing tonight and making adjustments back and forth throughout this fight. Changing into an aggressive slugger when it's necessary and then boxing at times. And as you said later, Jim, he actually won the last round by Florida. Well, in all this time, of, go ahead. he's been with the same trainer since he's seven years old. A trainer who has no other particular cachet in the sport. They oh, realize, hard right uh, hand by Perez knocked Barrera's head back. That's another reminder to Barrera as to how dangerous Juarez can be. Yeah, even though he's boxing, he's always got to stay alert. And I'm thinking that he is aware of that, too, because all the time Juarez is punching. And, and he never loses his punching power as the fight goes on, either. Unlike a lot of good punchers, they punch earlier, they're dangerous. But after halfway through the fight, they're not that dangerous. Juarez punches hard all the way through. And that's unusual. An experienced fighter like the world to lose his mouthpiece twice. Three times, Three actually. Times. He put it back in himself the first time he lost it. He caught him in his glove and put it back in. Now twice the referees had to stop the action for Barrera to put it back in. Yeah, and it leads you to wonder if his mouth is hurt. Well, either that or whether he's breathing harder than we think he is, whether this has been really hard on him because he's been fighting with his mouth open and his... Uh, and, and, and you can just see him laboring slightly at times. Uh, possibly the mouthpiece could be a new mouthpiece that doesn't fit good, too. That happens often, too. And uh, apparently Barrera is telling his corner he wants a new mouthpiece. It'll be interesting to see if they have an option. Sometimes fighters fit the mouthpiece because they have a broken jaw. But Barrera isn't fighting yeah. as though he has a broken jaw. But so, but something is wrong. The way he's holding his mouth, he's not biting down firmly on his mouthpiece. As if there is some problem with the way the mouthpiece is fitting on me, but there is an injury to his jaw. Well, it wouldn't be out of the question. That Juarez broke his jaw with one of those left hooks. Those are fight. hard punches. This has been a, a waiting game round for Barrera. Juarez landed a super hard right hand shot in the first minute of the round. Barrera has seemed more conscious of simply getting through it than trying to win this round, perhaps believing he already has a comfortable margin on the scorecard. Yes. Uh, either there is some kind of physical problem that we may not know of. And we're told that referee Raul Cai Sr. has told Marco Antonio Barrera that one more loss of the mouthpiece would occasion a penalty point. And it's a good, good possibility that that will happen, too. Nice and calm, nice and easy. You're making a miss. You, you let him get away. Come on, he's, he's got nothing, so don't let him get away. Give it all you got. The, the, the curious thing here is that here, here you, you, it, you it's, not like it out. it's not strategic. It doesn't look like he's hurt, that he needs to do it. There's something else going on. I don't know if it's what you say, Emmanuel, maybe a bad mouthpiece or whether it's an injury or whether he's just winded. Barrera takes a right hand over the top from Juarez as round nine begins. Two thirds of the way through the fight. Juarez keeping the pressure on Marco Antonio Barrera, who has held up very well so far. But there's the mystery of the constantly dropped mouthpiece. And now a penalty point looming nope. if Ferreira loses it again. You know, and also it's interesting to watch it. Warriors seem to have more confidence now. It seems it seem to be fighting with much more enthusiasm and drive. Where Marco is basically like concerned with trying to win a decision now. And, and staying out of harm's way. Well, Juarez knows he's fighting from behind. And if you listen to the corner, they suggest that this was the plan to come on late in the fight. Interesting to see if Barrera feels vulnerable, and he seems to, how he picks his spots the rest of the way. He's going to have to score some. He can't just keep backing off a la Oscar De La Hoya against Felix Trinidad. And that's exactly seemed like the mindset that he's into now, and Juarez knows that also. The question is, will Juarez take advantage and keep the pressure on the way Trinidad did against De La Hoya down the stretch? It 
the other guy isn't doing much. You don't need to land all the time. You just need to keep after it. That's how De Loia beat Pernell Whitaker in the late rounds. Well, in, in particular in Las Vegas, they really like you to finish strong in Las Vegas. We're in Los Angeles here. Yep. The culture is similar. Barrera with an uppercut between Juarez's guard. And I see some Las Vegas judges over there. I see Dwayne Ford. Juarez has been aggressive the entire fight. Backing War, I mean backing Barrera up from the second round onward. It was Cat and Mouse in the first round, but by the second round the pattern was established. Juarez pressuring, Barrera countering, and fighting tactically. Now Barrera unveils the jab again. This round could be stealable for Barrera, although Juarez would seem to be the owner up to now. Big right hand by Juarez. Very hard to hit Barrera with a good right hand. He rolls his shoulders on almost right hand. Good body shot by Barrera. Juarez felt it. But still, the jab has been the biggest factor in this round. Ten seconds. Uppercuts by Barrera. Leaving Juarez looking for an opportunity to step in. Rocky comes in and lands his left hook. The momentum in the fight seems to belong to Juarez. Yes, but I still think Barrera won the round, but the momentum is going towards Juarez. It was a though. good close round, Rocky. Got the first leg. You let him get off it. You can't let him get started first, Rocky. Hey, his breathing is a lot open. He, he's tired as can be. You need to put the pressure. Combination. You need to pick the body. You need to pick that body a few times. You understand? Back up. Back up a little bit. Better. Back up a little bit. Better. Okay. Round 10 coming up, Rocky. You understand? Now we need this little championship round. Let's go to it. Okay? You got to look it. You got to throw, throw a lot of punches. Close tight. You got to close this show. Come on, you got to defend this title. Outside of the Manny Pacquiao fight, that's about as weary and troubled as I've ever seen Marco Barre Antonio Barrera in the corner. Yes, and I put a lot of things aside in the Pacquiao fight because of so many surrounding circumstances right, with that Pops. fight, but this is different right here. Do you well, think Barrera underestimated Rocky Juarez? To some degree, and as I said, I wanted to see him with a good young fighter from the amateur program with good experience internationally who was young and fresh and could punch, and this is what I'm seeing tonight, and it's a little different. Harold, how do you have it through nine? Yeah. Okay, Jim. The, but the burning question is, did Rocky Juarez give up too many of the early rounds? 87, 84, six rounds to three. Marco Antonio Barrera. Jim, I've given um, Rocky Juarez rounds eight and nine. I think he's the aggressor. I think he's landing the harder shots. Barrera's left jab ain't doing a darn thing. And Rocky's winning these late rounds. Look at this. He's walking him down, landing the stronger shots, and backing Marco up. Six to three, Barrera. I have the same score. Of course, if it ends in a draw, Barrera keeps his title. There is, if Juarez comes a, along, a rematch clause for this. But this is the definition of a young, strong guy going after the older guy. And Juarez lands an uppercut and a big left hook. Barrera got in a body shot. Blood streaming from the nose of Marco Antonio Barrera. He's going to have to fight down the stretch, and he realizes it now. But you know, even though you know he's probably lost his last round, I still have given those rounds by jabs. He's still been boxing, and the, and the most effective punch still for the most part has been the jab. Good right hand and a body shot by Barrera. Just when you don't expect it, Barrera comes back with one of those perfect combinations. Jab, right cross, knocked Juarez into the ropes. Now Juarez gets in another left hook, but Barrera ducked the right hand. Barrera trying to go back to using his jab to set up something big. Left hook lands up top for Marco Antonio. Juarez with two body shots. Rocky looking to land another big left hook. Well, remember Juarez told us that one of the things he liked Barrera so much about watching his career was that he had an extra gear when he needed it. Does he still have it? 
Herrera mostly circling away from Juarez's left hook. Steps back to his right and lands a right hand. Juarez over the top of the right. right hand. That draws it's blood good. from Barrera's nose. Look at Barrera's mouth. Is this, Barrera is, this? is stunned by this. There's no question in my mind something's wrong with his mouth. Yeah, his out of the mouthpiece. Right? Something he cannot hold that mouthpiece. He's to trying to hold the mouthpiece in. He doesn't want the one-point penalty. Close round. Both guys landed some big shots. Barrera seems determined to try to win it. That's it. That's it. Now we got now we got two rounds to knock this guy out. Dude. We're behind on points. You understand? We're behind on points. You hear what I said? We are behind on points. You can make it all up in the two rounds. Okay. You understand? Uh, you like you push him. Push him. Go to him. Get, get him out. Get him out. Don't let him sit up. When you get in there, you throw the combination we work on. That's all you got to do, sir. You, you t you're getting in, but don't go to the ropes. Get in the middle of the ring. Come on. You got to let everything go. Here you can see they're in close here, and you can see, as I was saying earlier, that Juarez is very good with short, compact punches in close. And once again, you see him getting close again, and he's crowding and getting closer to Barrera than Barrera wants him to be. And therefore, he doesn't have the chance to see the punches come in his mouth. If ever there was a time for uh, Rocky to be Rocky, here it is. Punches in round 10. Barrera 12 out of 54. Juarez 19 out of 72. And 15 of Juarez's connects with power shots. There's another huge left hook. Barrera's corner seems to think that Barrera may have a broken nose. I personally suspect there might be something wrong with his mouth. Juarez lands two jabs, and Barrera almost slips in the center of the ring. You heard Rudy Perez t say to Barrera, stay off the ropes. Try to stay in the center of the ring, where he's got to try to stay away from Juarez's left hook. Jab, jab, jab by the champion. Rocky Juarez trying to take over the top spot in the 130-pound division. If he can beat one of the reigning icons of the sport. Rock is fighting a good fight, but he should have a little bit more intensiveness in his punching. Now, he should be a little bit more urgent. He's, he's winning the fight possibly the last few rounds, but still not fighting with the urgency that he should have. Barrera with a chance to score now. Pins Juarez against the ropes. Goes back to the body. Got away with one on the belt line. Juarez knocks him back with a right and a left. A full-on fist fight. They're trading hard shots at close range. <laughs> Uppercut by Barrera. Juarez with the left hook. Shot for shot. Good body shot by Barrera. Body shot by Juarez. Barrera retaliates on the other side. Juarez with a right uppercut. This is the brawling Barrera now. Four punch combination by Barrera. <laughs> and a left to the big right hand over the top. That's good. Barrera's been in so many of these type fights. Kennedy and Kennedy, all those. He's going back to that again. And the Morales fights. But it's just right now. This guy's just so strong and young. As his energy level rises now yeah, as the 11th round comes down the stretch. Such a compact puncher. And as long as Barrera is fighting in close like that, he's got problems. Barrera trying to rip him to the body one more time. Barrera's looking stronger now than he did in the second and third rounds. Barrera to resurrect the old magic one more time. Backs Barrera's off with a perfect combination to the body. Barrera is used to that, though. He's been in so many of those type fights. This is going to be a very interesting final round. Come on, let's get some water there. We may be looking at a candidate of the year. You know what you said? Great combination. You have a lot of trouble punching in the years, and you got a lot more power in the right now. 
Give me everything you got in your best tank. You understand? Double jet, right hand. Stay on it. And the last, this is the final thing. You got to give it all. Is it time for the young lion to take over? Or can the old lion hang on? Well, it's going to be an interesting fight, and we know that Baran knows what to do in those type situations. And if I was Juarez, I would go all out, be as physical as he could, and just be a total animal. And don't try to be too intelligent. Do a lot of pushing, bumping it with your shoulders, everything to make it a physical fight. A tumultuous 11th round. Harold Letterman believes Barrera won it. It could turn out to be the pivotal round in the fight. Copy box numbers to this point. Barrera, 57 out of 575. Juarez has thrown 579. Four more punches, has landed 121. Juarez, by and large, landing the harder shots. Barrera, by and large, with a boxing edge. somebody to clean this up. Rudy, ven a limpiar aquí, por favor. Marco, que esta en la esquina. Well, the referee picked a heck of a time to try to clean up the middle of the ring. 2.14 to go in the 12th. What happened between rounds? Does this favor Barrera because it gives him a rest at a totally opportune time? I would think it would favor him. It's got to be. Yeah. He's 32. Yeah. Juarez is 26. Barrera is the one who's had 65 fights. Juarez with two huge right hands. But you're going to see Barrera fight good this round, I think, still. Even though Barrera seems to be more worn out, but I think he's going to do everything he can to try to win this round to make sure that there's no way he's going to lose his title. Even though he's won it, as far as I'm concerned, and most people just knowing the warrior in him. Herrera trying to keep the jab out there, mix it up, keep Juarez off of it. Uses the jab to pop Juarez back. Lands a straight right hand. Herrera landing the cleaner punches. A big left hook by Juarez. Herrera's become accustomed now to walking through that damage. Marco Antonio Herrera's face is busted up. Shows the kind of punishment he has seldom, if ever, taken in his career. Only Manny Pacquiao straight him like this. Left hook. Herrera landed there, and now straight. Right, Juarez right. is he's getting a little up. bit wild. Right, even though Barrera may be looking tired and rest for what, he still is landing the punches for the most part. Rayon Tavares, as far as his trainer told him two rounds ago that he needed a knockout to win. If Rocky comes apart down the stretch, it could be because he'll be trying for the knockout. Big left hook yeah. by Barrera. Huge shot. Stop. Break. Stop. Box. What a courageous show by both men. 15 seconds left, and here is Marco Antonio Barrera. All those years later, on his toes, exchanging punches with a strong young lion. Barrera was originally supposed to fight Jesus Chavez. Chavez came down with an arm injury. He looked into the possibility of fighting Juan Diaz. Finally, the fight falls to Rocky Juarez, who has taken every advantage of the opportunity to show his stuff and still may be beaten by one of the greatest of all time. Very, very good fight. Great finish. As I said earlier, when Marco Antonio Barrera is in the ring, it is always an occasion. The magic of Staples Center. Almost every time we're here, we see a tumultuous <laughs> prize fight. It started with Bella Oya Mosley won. Lennox Lewis against Vitaly Klitschko. Vitaly Klitschko against Corey Sanders. Glenn Johnson against Antonio Tarver. Over and over, over we've seen it here. This was magical stuff, and you can see the damage on the face of the great veteran Barrera. Quickly now, yeah. let's take a look at the three judges who are faced with the responsibility of choosing a winner. Dwayne Ford, 
as Emmanuel Stewart mentioned, one of the great Nevada veterans. Notable fight, scored Taylor Hopkins won 115, 113 for Taylor. He was in the majority. Jerry Roth was the one judge who dissented from that decision. Anak Hong Tong Camp, 63 years old from Thailand, many title fights, was here for the first De La Hoya Mosley fight in this building and scored it correctly in our view, 115-113 for Mosley. And 71-year-old Ken Morita of Japan was one of those who found Umberto Soto beating Rocky Juarez, unanimous decision, last year in Detroit. Juarez looking the fresher of the two fighters as he walks around the ring in anticipation of the decision. Barrera was put through hell physically in this fight and may have pulled out the victory anyway. Yeah, I thought it was a very impressive fight on both guys' part. Barrera's a great fighter. He did what he had to do to win the fight. And some nights you say, I'm not going to look that great, but I'll win this fight tonight and get the chance to look great tomorrow night. But he did what he had to do to win the fight. And certainly... If Barrera is the winner, and there's no certainty to that, I mean, it takes at this moment a little bit longer than is normally the case to tabulate the scores, and we'll see. But if Barrera's the winner, this does nothing to diminish the reputation of Rocky Juarez. If anything, it embellishes it. I, I think it enhances both of the guys' reputation. Michael Buffer has the paper and the microphone. Let's find out who won. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to the scorecards. Dwayne Ford scores the contest, 115-113, Juarez. Anik Hong Tong Kam scores it, 115-113, Barrera. Ken Morita scores the belt, 114-114, a three-way split, this belt is a draw.